Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. There's the brand new truck. The Mary Dairy has arrived. It's a brand new business. Been around for about a week. So really excited to have Marlene Haley joining us. Uh, this is a, it's an old truck, a new concept, and really completely up to date with the newest in social media and technology. Mm -hmm. Kind of give us a rundown as to this business. Sure. This okay. is your baby. Okay, sure. I'm selling frozen custard from a truck, which is a type of ice cream. It's not gelato. It's not um, premium ice cream hard scoop. And I make it fresh in the truck and I'm using social media so that people can find where I am because I am mobile. So people can check on my website and track the truck. And, and they can so also, um, when they come to buy ice cream, they can scan these QR codes and it takes them directly to the website to find out information about frozen custard. Which is it's amazing to see. I mean, I think it's a ton of fun, but people to be able to track you and know where you're at, mm -hmm. know where they can find you is one thing. But to, to keep going with these, I mean, you're looking at Twitter, Facebook, Google, it's, what made you think to say, listen, let's stay on top of this and have fun with it? I, I saw it as the one and only way, really, being mobile to, to reach people. Like, it's the easiest way because people can't find me otherwise. And I'm in different neighborhoods throughout the week. So, so. How, how are you deciding where you're going to be? Um, right now, I'm just I'm picking different neighborhoods within my area but mm -hmm. I hope to cover all of Ottawa I'm in Hintonburg Westboro um, Fisher Park tonight and I'll just branch out and I also can do private parties if I'm invited to a, a location that you can do that and the best thing too you're gonna be at festivals and a whole bunch of things I love this because it's the uh, the free Wi-Fi hotspot mm -hmm. yes yeah, so hang around the truck I changed the password according to the place where I am mm -hmm. so this morning at CTV morning CTV morning and you have the and, and so it's great because people then get attracted they're standing by mm -hmm. they're seeing what's going on and you create a buzz the buzz is really yeah. though in the product, <laughs> in the product that you have. And so we're going to actually head into the truck. So this is and where I make the ice cream. Okay. Well, wait for our custard. camera. They're sure. coming on in. So this is the frozen custard machine. I make it in here every day, and then I serve it fresh the same day. So that's the, the difference too between gelato and other ice creams. It has to be done. It fresh. Has, yeah, you serve it fresh, and that's why it can be served at a little bit of a warmer temperature, and so you taste the creaminess. And there's an egg yolk base. Okay, that was the, so I was going to say difference between ice cream, gelato, yeah, and custard. So, so it has an egg yolk base, which makes it a bit creamier. Gelato is um, lower um, butter fat, and a higher premium ice cream would have a higher fat. So this is in the middle. Okay. It's about 10 to 12 percent milk fat. And then and are you going to have the opportunity different flavors? Yeah, right now it's vanilla with toppings because I'm limited with space, but I do hope to add other flavors. Like I could run a chocolate batch or... And so everything so, will be kept here. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, this is my, so I'm putting in my order. Would you like to try? I would like to try, please. And then I, I see there's toppings, there's a whole bunch of different things. Oh, wow, you're quite generous with yeah, this. Yeah, there you go. This is nice. I like this. Oh, that's delicious. Thanks. Wait, and yeah. in terms of coming up with recipes, was this something that you were trying? I out? Went, we're trying to figure out the dynamics of how it actually works. In I the truck. actually went to a school in St. Louis, Missouri, to learn how to make frozen custard. It's very popular in the Midwest, mm -hmm. and there's kind of a cult following in the U.S. People look for frozen custard, so I went down and learned how to make it there. And, and then got the truck. And then I yeah, bought the equipment in Michigan, and I bought the truck in Pennsylvania, and I put it all together. Okay, I have to ask yeah. you, what made you decide to do something like this? Partly, partly because I lived in the U.S. and fell in love with frozen custard, and I thought um, two things. I thought Ottawa could maybe be a fun place mm -hmm. to try frozen custard, and I didn't see a lot of ice cream trucks, and I have two children, and for five years I haven't seen many ice cream trucks in my neighborhood, so it just brought the two concepts okay. together. Do they just get, leave the house and yeah. come outside and be yeah. like, okay, dessert time, and yeah. then run out and My son that. actually had an ice cream cone for breakfast the other morning on rollerblades. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. so really exciting. You're just up. I mean, it's been a week up and running so people can head to, you know, I know that we've got all of the different bars codes yeah. and scan, but to see uh, more information on, on your business. On the website they can go to. Mm -hmm. Everything's on the website. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tracker, figure out where she's going to yep. be. It's Hang out with your uh, your iPad. Yeah. Your, you know, you get the Wi-Fi with it as well. It's and then, of course, you'll have the opportunity. I didn't get spring. I oh, do you want some sprinkles? sprinkles. Okay. We'll have to do that. We're going to be uh, head from the, the custard. We're going to be going back into the kitchen, a little bit of the uh, healthier eating in the kitchen, but enjoy this amazing treat 